Hey, OMG, I wasn't going to do this right now because I'm in between appointments and it's my lunch break, but I had to do this. So listen to this. I just got this. The lighting's not right. I'm sorry. I didn't spend time. I figured you just need this intel. Listen, guys, for those of you who don't believe the RVGCR is here, watch, listen to this. Uh, RV update. I know. Oki, Twitter. You know, again, it could be his legacy, just like Kim Clement's family keeps his channel going. Um, on YouTube, check it out for yourself. Um, it could be somebody posting on his behalf. It says IQD appears to be above fifteen dollars and dong near a dollar conservatively, as expressed for over sixty days now. My favorite planes are are the seven forty sevens. I will always love those planes for it is a wonderful aircraft. We are positive and optimistic. Do not believe the wild rumors. Amen. Do not believe the rumors, guys. This is our time. Um, we have been close in the past. Never say, never have we had the Encompass total progression and rates fully loaded. Banks are preparing. We are as close as one can get prior to the post. Rates are higher for the long, for the dong and IQD than originally projected. Woohoo! That is good news. Tell me if you think that's good news. Comment down below if you think that's good news. I'm excited. It says... Uh, the rate post has been prolonged by the by the uncalculated length of time to systematically satisfy all software and posting requirement rates. Data entry and rates are loaded, and there is a continued projection now for the rates to post within the next 24 hours. Enough said, guys. It's just it's just so close. It's crazy. Um, KTFA's Monday night conference call is also now posted. It says the second article from the CBI. This video is in Frank's and his team's opinion only, of course. Frank's team is walkie stick, Eddie in Iraq and guests. Um, and Frank's suit color means white is new info. He did have new info and his video is posted. If you want to see the details, um, Mark Z, um, I'll put the link for this down below. If you want to go see it for yourself and watch those videos, I'm just doing a quick summary. Like I always do. This is an Intel summary. My Intel from God says it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. And it's the time is now. That is my intel. This is not the live video that says the time is now yet. It's not that. But, you know, with God, faith moves a mountain, right? Um, we walk by faith, not by sight, if you're in the kingdom with me. Um, so, Marxy said, are we still getting some positive chatter and excited groups, but we have not seen a massive money movement yet? One church group who had been giving him a lot of feedback, had been completing paperwork. They missed their deadline on Friday to do some members not doing what they're supposed to do. They are worried they were moving to the back of the queue. They were in a mad dash because they were told to get it in immediately or go further back in line. Um, Mark Z said, all I can tell you is it does seem to be well underway. Um, and they're talking about, um, rates going in and out. Mark C says, which means there hasn't been meaningful movement with payouts or they have, or they have a very scary NDA bouncing. Well, it said bouncing screens again, lots of chatter, but nothing solid yet. One of the test subjects today with an NDA told me his, his is content, but it's super quiet on all fronts. Um, Mark Z says, which means there hasn't been any meaningful movement with payouts. They have a very scary NDA and not going to willing to break it. I don't blame them. Um, and the, the member asked about the bondholders. He said, no, my bondholder contacts also will not pick up the phone today. I spoke with one contact from Panama. Um, he has not been paid, but told there are rumors of others being paid. None of his European contacts has responded today, which is kind of surprising. Normally they respond quickly. I'm hoping this means we are there. Um, uh, Mark Z said, that sounds pretty accurate. Um, Talk. The member asked from Dinar Guru. It said Nader from the Middle East said something is going to happen this month, and Marxy said that sounds pretty accurate. Um, Marxy said there has been no bad news today. Just as I have been hitting a lot of stone walls from paymasters and group leaders this afternoon, meaning my calls go straight to voicemail. They are in radio silence in the Reno area. I'm really impressed because Reno used to be the weak link. Now it seems to be the strongest one. Um, he said I, he was also stonewalled from contacts in Miami. For those that don't know, Miami has also been turned into one of the main redemption areas. Mark C., it's unusual for so many to be so quiet. I am hoping it's a good sign. 
Mark Z said, yup, I was told the window opened today on the 9th and it could happen anytime before the 31st. So they're given a large window so that nobody knows when it actually happens, but we will just keep subscribe, tap the bell. I'll let you know. I watch this very closely because this is the only positive thing in my life right now. <laughs> Just saying, this is, this is what I focus on because number one, God has me focusing on it too and has me helping you with it. So that's what the financial ninja appointments are for. Um, Mark Z, I did not think we are months away, not at all. Um, a whale, a member said a whale told him January 15th, which is a three day bank closure because of the Martin Luther King holiday. Um, and Mark Z replied, Yes, the chatter really is absolutely amazing. I was hoping for more, something something solid like money has moved, right? He didn't get that. The guys were so, 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 so close. The rest is just member comments. Um, and there is a replay of that call there too. And again, I will post this link below this video so you can go see that this detail for yourself and watch the videos if you want to see more because some of you have more time than others. So this is just the top level summary of the intel. This is what I do on my channel. I provide a quick succinct summary so we can all go about our lives right we all have lives so this is frank 26 uh he said you can't let your dinars out of your sight i say that too you cannot give your dinars to a small bank that will send them to a larger bank and have it verified if they get stolen if they get lost if the brinks truck rolls over and burns up the dinar destroyed they'll give you what you paid for them but they're not going to give you the exchange rate for it because it wasn't converted yet God gave you these dinars as a blessing for you to be responsible and steward, and you are learning how to do that. Amen, amen. I agree. Go to wherever they can validate it. Instead of letting them send it out, you go there yourself. That's what you got a car for. Um, that's why we're not on horses and buggies anymore. Use the resources good God has given you, including common sense. Um, there was an article referred to... Um, he said, here it is, a second article for the Central Bank of Iraq. Central Bank governor, the dollar rate crisis is temporary and the monetary situation is at its best. Second article from the Central Bank of Iraq. Um, and then there was a quote. It says, the governor of the Central Bank touched on the reasons for issuing a new denomination of local currency. Say the issuance of the new denomination is a procedure to modify the structure of banknotes and introduce an intermediate denomination that facilitates daily transactions, reduces the presence of old versions of currency denominations in circulation, et cetera, et cetera. They're doing, guys, it's moving. You can't, can't deny it. Yada. Um, there was a quote from an article that they're men they're, they mentioned here. The most important thing is sincere and true intentions for change towards the desired economic advancement with an emphasis on supporting the banking sector as the main link first in economics. So... If I'm not mistaken, this dinar will still float internationally and not just in country. That will move up the price. Um, Claire with KTFA says, Central Bank Governor, the dollar exchange rate crisis is temporary and the monetary situation is at its best. She uses a quote, reserves of the Central Bank in Iraq and its arrival to more than $97 billion. The foreign reserves index to money supply <laughs> in the broad sense, is high and reached 81%, which is an indicator that enhances confidence in the Iraqi dinar as a store of value, as well as preserving the value of the national currency by ensuring the stability of the exchange rate as a nominal stabilizer for, inf for inflation. Pimpy said, still in the news today, more talk about the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar. Mark Z, this is his morning from yesterday. I already did his evening, so or I actually did his today, so this is... This is um, a repeat. I'm not going to uh, try to keep these things sh sh quick. Judy Note, um, she is talking about, she talks about the global currency reset. She goes, what we think we know as of today. Um, January 1st, the world changed over to the new quantum financial system. January 9th, um, Mr. Ward is under a very serious NDA. Liquidity has started and mass amounts of monies were being moved right now. A lot of test payments have been made. A lot is happening around the 17th to the 19th. That was according to Mr. Ward. Um, then there was this week, Americans on vacation in Europe reportedly not being able to withdraw money from their American banks. Only 50% of the banks in America were Basel compliant on January 3rd. This week, some banks will close, but you don't need to worry because all amounts have been mirrored in this quantum financial system. 
Um, January 9th marks the, the window open on the 9th and gets to go around the 31st. We continue to see movement on NDAs from Wales, paymasters, and groups. High up contact said Sunday the 15th was the deadline for all levels to be fully loaded and ready to disperse funds, including level level five, the general public. Um, level five is the general public. For we are 4B, the internet groups. If you want to know about the tiers, you know, you can ask me that on a personal call. High up contact March 23 was the deadline to have all countries, currencies of the world exchanging it one-to-one -one with each other. A situation expected to last up to five years. Guys, that is the update. That is 10 minutes, 22 seconds. I think that's pretty good. Guys, keep praying this, thanking God that it's already happened. One of the ways you can assure your prayers are answered is when you are grateful to God that you are part of this and that it's already done. Amen. God bless you all. I look forward to talking with you personally. For those of you who have afternoon appointments with me, for those who still want appointments with me, I will put my email down below. God bless you. I, again, I will try to link this link down below so you can go directly to it. and You can see the details and watch the videos if you want more details. Bye.